Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the owner of Houston Window Experts. Thank you so much for watching this video today. Hey, today we're gonna talk about why do windows have condensation on the outside of them and what can you do to help stop that from happening? Uh, can you see? Can you see all this condensation? I mean, it's all over in this area. It's all along the side. And actually, it's starting to kind of finally go away. But we've, we've had some condensation on this. This is a, a job we're doing today. And so I thought, let's address that issue. Now, before we start on that, I want to tell you that we have people call us all the time from all over the country saying, Jeff, do you know anybody in my area that's a great window company? I love your videos. I wish I lived in Houston or I wish you had a place here with me. And so, yeah, actually we do. We have a lot of people asking that question. And so we've, we've built a website called jeffslist.com. If you go to that website, you can enter in your address and you can see if we have somebody in your area. So check it out, jeffslist.com. Okay, so condensation on this window. We're, we're, this is a job we're doing here today. And um, the homeowner said, you know, you guys put this window in yesterday. And then this morning I came up and I have this big, beautiful window so I can have a view of my lake. Uh, why is this happening? I'm, I'm concerned that this is happening because my old window didn't do that. Well, here's what science has to say about that. When we have the outside temperature, when it falls below the dew point, you will get condensation. So what that means is if this window is, is cooler, the outside, if it's cooler than the dew point is, you will get condensation. Kind of like sometimes you wake up in the morning if you had your car parked outside and you look and you realize that it has condensation on it. It's like, why did that happen? And so the reason it happens is because the dew point and the, is, is here and the temperature is here. Now, what can you do about that? How, how did that happen? Why is it that my old window that was a single pane window didn't used to do that or not as often and now my new double pane window does that? Well, here's why. When the inside of the house is warm, okay, and it's on this surface of the glass, the inside pane of glass, um, because this is so efficient compared to your old window, the outside pane of glass is not staying as warm as it normally would have. So a good double pane window is actually proof that because of it being such a good double pane insulated window, you're more likely to get condensation on the outside because the heat is not getting to the outside of the window to help keep the window warm. If the window's warmer, it doesn't fall below the dew point as often because it'll stay above the dew point and thereby keep your window from having condensation on it. Now, this particular homeowner was asking that question and I explained to him, I said, I said how, how cold was it in this room last night? He said, oh, we didn't even run the, air, the heater until like almost morning time because it, you know I, we were in the other room and the door was closed. And so yes, this room wasn't as, wasn't as warm as it normally would be. And so this is less likely to happen in the future for him. If, if we hadn't been in here all day yesterday and we had every door open, and by the way, it was like, I think it was 42 or 43 degrees uh, last night here. If we hadn't had the house open all day, we probably wouldn't have had as much cold in here either. And if he'd been running the heater, that also would have kept it warmer and kept it from happening. Another thing that can happen when this happens to you perhaps is if there's shrubs and there's uh, brush and things like that or bushes below that window, say it's on your ground floor and right outside of there you have these brushes and shrubs and stuff, that also helps retain the, the coolness out there because you can't get air circulation as much coming over that window. So air circulation, a warmer piece of glass will help reduce the condensation and possibly even eliminate it. Here's another thing too you should know that on the east side of the house, this is west, on the east side of the house, you're gonna get the sun sooner and it's gonna get warmer on the outside faster and that's gonna clear up. On the west side of the house, you're going to get less warmth in the mornings and therefore when you wake up, you're probably gonna see it more likely here on this side than you would that side. I had a homeowner one time who had a pool. You know, it was a very small lot, very small uh, backyard, but he had a pool. And it was probably eight feet or so away from a big window like this. And only that one window would do that on, that on that same wall. But another one further down, like 20 feet away from the pool, wouldn't do it. Why? Because the outside, there was a lot of dew, more humidity, right? On the outside, closer to the pool than there was where the pool was further away. So brushes, um, shrubs, um, the west side of the house, not the east side of the house, um, having a pool or a water source or something nearby, you know, and that's what we have here. We have a beautiful lake. The lake, also this morning, when I, when I saw it this morning, the lake actually had like a fog all over the lake. So all of these things are contributing factors. But I want you to know that if you do have condensation on the outside of your window, it is not broken. There's nothing wrong with it. It actually means it's, it's working even better. 
All right, I hope this solved the problem. I hope I answered your question. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, jeffslist.com if you want to learn about a great window company in your area. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.